sliding it out. Meanwhile, your whole range of finding it out. And my actions so loud, I'm blinding you out. You act weak now, I can see that sigh from your mouth. So what you got the nut flush, I'm rolling that house. King's fool, we count score, but bracelets and rings rule. Nuts on a river, always something I seem to have. And we GTO like 3PO. Frequencies and math, teach us how to get the cash. Exploit his ass when you know we weak, you gotta blast. Play your big hands in position fast, unless you wanna crash. Let's make sure we meditate, eat right, and medicate. A war anthem before battle with the heavyweights. Let's make this song and stack levitate. It's time to shine and all time to rise. Let that marinate. It goes open, raise, three bet, four, five bet pile. Snap call, ace in the door. I want chips, I want bricks, I want championships. I'm what up, my poker peeps? And this is going to be episode two. And this is on the backside of the tilt session. So as we can see, we're playing a tournament here. And we finally wake up with pocket kings in the small blind. So we're already thinking, let's go ahead and get a double up, maybe even a triple up right here, and get right back in this tournament. So as you can see, we get a min raise up here, and it's going to get around here in just a second. Well, this guy, to the button, and the button's going to call. So at this point, there's really no squid three bet size, and so I ship it in, and as you can see, we get called by King Queen. Here we go. Oh, we got... No. Seriously? Again? This is how this week's going to go? Ah! All right, hand number nine. Maybe we can turn it around here. So, be honest with you, I'm just so tilted right now. So when my guy right here with a small stack, he raises, I'm just going to shove it in there. It's a terrible play, honestly. I mean, only better is going to call most of the time or be flipping. He calls with eights. Can I win a flip? Come on. I've been running so bad. Let me win this flip, y'all. Nope. I already see. Oh, this is going to be a long episode, y'all. All right, hand number eight. Let's see if we can get this turned around. So I got pocket kings. This table's been super aggressive, so we're going to try the old limp back raise trap here. So we limp in. The next guy's going to go ahead and limp in. Gets over here to the button, and now we go to the small blind, and he does what I was kind of expecting him to do. He's going to try to squeeze out the small blind. And now hopefully the big blind will jump in there. We can get some more dead money in the pot when we do this back raise. And he tanks and tanks and tanks, and he's thinking about it. And he folds. So we're going to go ahead and bump it up to four here. I would think the guy to the left that limped, he's probably going to get out of the way. He ends up just flat calling with only nine. Uh, I don't even know what he's thinking, just flat calling right there. So now the small blind, he says he's got a hand, so he's going to ship it in. So if he's got aces, he's got aces. I mean, the way I've been running, it wouldn't shock me. But I'm going to stick it in, and we're against queens, and we flop top set. We turn them dead on the turn, and finally we scoop a pot, y'all. Here we are, hand number seven. And we're still battling the old tilt monster. So when we get a min open, we're going to go ahead and put it in three bet with ace jack off. Flatting, I just don't like flatting right there. I guess I could in position, but then it could go four ways. So I'm trying to get this heads up with ace jack off suit. Hopefully this dude did not min raise with a monster. And it goes around to the big blind after the small blind, big blind folds. So now we get it heads up like I was wanting. Nine, seven, deuce, rainbow. Hopefully he didn't flop a set. I'm going to go ahead and C-bet here. And he's going to go ahead and think about it and make a call. So the six comes in. I mean, that does complete like eight, ten, but I really don't think he has that. So I'm going to go ahead and go half pot again. And at this point when the board pairs, I mean, if he's got a seven... That's about all he could call with. So I'm going to go ahead and rep what I was trying to rep in the beginning is aces, kings. So I go ahead and rip it in there, and we just pray that he's going to find the All right, hand number six, and this one's sort of like the last one, but a little different. And y'all are going to love the result of this hand. It's so amazing. So he's going to go ahead and pretty much min raise. I'm going to go ahead and put it in three pit, just like I did the last hand, because I'm looking to get stuff like this. Get any kind of junk out there and get the aggression. So I go ahead and I flop top, top here. Of course we're gonna go two thirds and this is where i probably make a mistake he tanks about it tanks about it and he calls now when he calls right here i should be putting them on flush draws straight draws like that so the eight just connects the board way too much but i'm tilted i ain't thinking clearly so i go ahead and go half pot and this is where he really gets me with timing he just tanks 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 at this point i'm just shoving it in there trying to bluff and he's going to go ahead and use both of his time banks pretty much and eventually call and show me a straight flush. Yep. So this is hand five, and this is actually the same hand. The guy to the left is the one that just hit me with a straight flush, and also he just hit me with another big hand, so I've doubled 
I've gave him two buy-ins already, and at this point, I am like so tilted. I ain't even gonna tell no lies. I just, I'm just done. I'm over it, I'm aggravated. I should never play like this. So when I, I limp on the button with King-7 suited, not, not a great play. And then when I flop the flush draw, at this point, I hate to say it, I'm just like, screw it. If he bets, I'm going all in. I just, I'm, I'm so over it right now. I'm just punting chips away at this point. Terrible play, no excuses. Like I say, screw it, all in, and he has top top, and we suck out. Bink on the river, finally, finally. All right, hand four. So here we are. We're starting to catch a little bit of momentum. We're trying to get back in this, get all the losses we've lost. We get kings on the button, get an open to 3x under the gun. This is a beautiful situation. So we're not going to slow play here. We're going to go ahead and put in the raise. So we go ahead and put in the three bet. And the small blind is going to think about it, think about it, and eventually he's just going to flat call. Now the under the gun is going to go ahead and put in the four bet. At this point, I got kings. I'm trying to get unstuck. I ship it in. We go three wet. He's got aces. Come on. Come on. Queen, queen, queen or king, queen or king. Oh, jeez. Oh, the run by it's killing me. It's killing me. All right, hand three, we're going to do something a little different this time. I'm just going to let the hand play out. And then at the end, y'all post below what y'all think about what I did here. At this point, I'm so tilted from everything that's been going on in these last two, three sessions I've played. So I'm going to go ahead and just let this play out. Y'all give me feedback of what y'all think I did, if it was a punt, if it was good, what y'all think of my line. And at this point, I'm just going to sit back, watch the hand, and... Hopefully y'all can give me some advice. Give me advice on all the hands. I mean, there was a couple. The ace-jack hand, when I ran into the straight flush, that, that was a terrible play by me. But, I mean, the king's hand, can I ever get away from that? I don't think so. But anyways, as this hand plays out, y'all tell me what y'all think. Give me a little feedback. And if you don't mind, like, subscribe to the channel. It definitely gets it out there to more and more people. And this is going to be a weekly thing I put out there so y'all can see my ups, my downs, my miseries, my pain, and the good times as I go along through the online poker chronicles. So appreciate y'all for tuning in, watching, especially if you made it this far. Thank you very much from the Mad Hatter. Hand number two, and here we sit with Big Slick, Ace King. Everybody loves or hates this hand. Sometimes you love it, sometimes you hate it. But at this point, man, I, I got to win some chippies. So when the cutoff raises, I'm going to go ahead and put in the three bet. I definitely don't want to flat here with the small blind, big blind, bring them into the pot. So I go ahead and three bet up to 235. Maybe I should go a little bit bigger. The small blind ends up flatting, which that's kind of weird. The big blind's going to jump out of the way. And then actually the original razor is going to jump out of the way. And of course we whiff the flop. When it checks to us, I'm going to go ahead and make a small C bet. I would do this with aces, kings, whatever. I wish I had the ace or the king of hearts here, which I don't. And when he checks the turn, which really doesn't do nothing, and then we hit the ace of hearts. Now, he could have a flush here, but, I mean, I got top, top. It just seems too weak. He could have ace, queen, ace, jack. I call, and, of course, he flopped a set. All right, this will be the last hand of this episode, and it pretty much sums everything up. So, I'm just super tilted as we've talked about, and I got king seven suited. I go ahead and limp in the small blind. I mean, it ain't the worst play, but I flopped the flush draw. I'm looking to check raise here was my initial plan. And when it checks to around now, once again, now I'm in full trap mode. So I check it, goes over to the big blind. I'm hoping maybe someone has a five here, and now they're going to lead. So when the cutoff comes out with a a way over bet i go ahead and call i mean but then the eight of spades comes off now i lose the six seven of spades the ace of spades boats but i i don't know at this point i'm just not folding no matter what he does he bets pot i snap it off and yep i'm over